day, great night, great week, whenever y'all are watching this shit up and through here. And as y'all can see by the title, this bitch right here decided to go ahead and do a tag video. One, because I haven't done anything where I'm just sitting down and talking to y'all in a long ass time outside of my usual reality show recaps and let's talk shit videos and that type of shit. And you guys know I'm gonna be bringing back some other things into the fold challenge videos for me and along with my husband as well. And uh, Real Talk Tuesdays and those types of things are gonna be coming back. We've just been busy and my hubby also has a J-O-B-B, -B, okay, that I also have to respect as well. So he's not filming as much as I am because obviously I'm a full-time vlogger, right? Okay. So, be on the lookout for those videos. So today, before this motherfucking shit dies on me, I decided to go ahead and do the YouTuber confessions tag, okay? I really don't know all the questions that have been asked. I've only kind of skimmed over them. So, you know, if there's a few pauses, it is what it is. Y'all know I like doing unboxings as random things where I just kind of go off the top of the dome and shit. So we're gonna see how these questions go. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see from your girl and I happened to run across this. A couple of you guys mentioned that to me on Twitter. And then I also have some questions coming in because I'm going to be doing a question answer video as well very shortly. I told you guys to be creative with the questions. So if there's anything you guys want to know as far as uh, your girl is concerned or whatever, be creative with the questions. Of course, leave those comments and questions down below and I will answer them in that question answer video as well because I love doing those types of videos. So if it's a scenario, a situation, a question or whatever, just have fun with it rather than the standard, you know, when y'all going to have babies babies and uh, what's your favorite food you know what I'm saying have a little fun with it all right so all right here we go <clears throat> I got 10% on my iPad okay all right so first question is how many hours a week do you spend filming and editing okay let's see how many hours y'all gonna be like bitch I stay on the computer if I'm not on the computer I'm on my iPhone if I'm not, not on my iPhone I'm on both if I'm not on my iPhone I'm on my iPad and my iPod Okay, not my iPod, my iPhone and my iPad, okay? Or I'm on all three, my computer, my iPhone, and my iPad. Reason for that is because not only do I also do videos here on this channel, but I also do uh, daily vlogs on my vlog channel, which is the Socialite Life TV. I do have those two channels. It is linked down below if you guys wanna check it out and subscribe, but my hubby and I, we do daily vlogs every single day, all right? So uh, obviously I am constantly editing, I'm always shooting because I'm always either shooting my daily life and whatever the fuck I'm doing on my day to day or I'm doing something here on this channel or both simultaneously. It is what it is, okay? So um, as far as how many hours I would say I spend, let's see, it says specifically filming. I would say filming, oh damn, a lot because I vlog every single day. So literally seven days a week, you know, there ain't no off days for your girl, okay? So sometimes I get a little backed up with stuff or, you know, there's a little lapse in my vlogs or whatever. That's what happens when I get bogged down with a lot of videos that I have to edit all at one time and then I eventually catch up. But uh, I would say, I mean, seven days a week, I'm constantly vlogging. I always have the camera near me, by me, whether it's my iPhone or my regular camera, my can Canon, whatever the case may be. I will be putting a video out very soon, letting you guys know what kinds of um, equipment and shit that I use, right? Um, so I would say probably a day, oh shit, bitch, seven days. Okay, this motherfucker right here don't have no off days. I never have off days. In fact, when I go to New York, Juice is trying to convince me not to take my laptop with me. That's how often I work. So I am definitely gonna be taking my camera when I go to New York, okay, because you guys know I'm coming in the next couple of weeks to go to New York IMAX, but, uh, and I will be vlogging the entire time, but he has told me he does not want me to take my laptop because he knows I'll stay on it. So anyway, a lot, bitch. I mean, a lot, especially if you're a daily vlogger. It's a lot of work when you're daily vlogging. So, JK. Long story short, bitch is always working. Shit. Are you a spender or a saver? Okay. I'm pretty much, oh God. I have my moments. It really truly depends. I'm frugal as fuck. Y'all know that shit, right? So I'm quick to find a good deal, but will I spend my last dime or dollar to get that good deal? Hell to the motherfucking no. Y'all know I'm frugal as fuck. So I, I pretty much split down the middle. It just depends on what the item is because I absolutely am a saver like a motherfucker. But the other side of me when it comes to certain things like certain clothes or shoes or makeup and that type of thing, um, you know, I have a little harder time with those things. However, I'm not constantly hauling here as you guys already know. So. I just kind of watch it. I'm kind of 50-50 as far as that's concerned. I don't go overboard. I love finding me a good deal. Y'all know how that is. But uh, I wouldn't say I'm one over the other. I'm kind of 50-50. Who is your YouTube crush? Hell. I don't know. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, 
Shit! Um, you know who I really love watching and I have no idea why? And it's not necessarily a crush, but Nicole Garo. I, I don't know if I'm saying her name wrong. I probably am. I probably fucked her name up. But anyway, she's a, she's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Love looking at her videos, checking them out. Uh, half the time I don't... I, 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 I mean, none of the shit that she might be talking about applies to my black ass. But... I actually really like watching her like you know how you just have people's faces you just like seeing she's one of those people's faces that I just like seeing on video I love it I've actually met her and she's really sweet and anyway but I actually love watching her so I always whenever she puts a video I'd always check it out regardless of whether it applies to me or not um shit shit could be on some tannin shit and I'll watch it whatever but uh let me think I'm trying to think of who else. Oh my God. You know who's sexy as a motherfucker? Is um China Renee, Miss China. China Candy Couture. Boy, bitch, yeah. You didn't know I was gonna throw you in there, girl. <laughs> yeah, she's sexy as a motherfucker. Um, who, oh my God, there's so many. There's so many like just gorgeous women, especially us, like our beautifully brown skin tone. But I just, I watch a little bit of everybody. So um, there's just too many to name, but anyway. Those are just off the top of my dome, right? Who are your favorite YouTubers? Okay, I watch, a, like I said, I watch a little bit of everybody. And when I say a little bit of everybody, I mean, it don't matter, black, white, purple, green, blue, I watch everyone. And I love like, I love daily vlogs, you know what I mean? Um, I love anyone who does, I, I don't really watch as many makeup tutorials per se, as I do wa like watching like makeup haul videos. So people who have really good hauls, I'll watch those videos like um, Nicole, I love her hauls, her makeup hauls, love them. Um, Let's see, who else do I love watching? Uh, makeup Game on Point, hey boo boo! I love that bitch. Um, and her skin, ooh! That brown bitch, okay! Um, possibly another YouTube crush maybe. Um, anyway, um, let's see, oh God. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bronze Goddess 01, I love her spirit, I love her energy, she's so positive. Um, it's just, it's hard when you're like on the spot trying to name people that you watch on a consistent. Um, but I love daily vlogs like Gabe and Babe. Um, I love, um, it's Judy's Life. Uh, you know, a lot of the vlogs that you guys probably are already following or whatever. Um, gosh, I'm trying to name other people. My girl Platinum D. Um, Ugh, there's just so many. Too many to name. But those are just a few off the top of my dome, okay? How long do you spend getting ready every day? Shit. Okay. I'm gonna keep it funky with y'all. I am a humongo tomboy. You probably don't think that. Probably because, you know, the makeup and the hair and the wigs and shit and the weaves and shit, bitch. But this bitch right here is pretty much 50-50. I'm, I'm tomboy. I have my girly moments, but I'm the tomboy. You can probably tell by the mouth. Okay, by the shit that, that comes out my damn mouth on a continuous basis, that uh, this bitch right here is not necessarily the most girliest of girls. So, <laughs> so I don't really take a lot of time to get ready, honestly. Like, if I have to put on a full face of makeup, like you see here, it's always something really relatively simple. Um, a lot of times you guys see me shoot without makeup on on this channel even, and I don't give a motherfuck, you guys already know. I have no issue, no qualms about that whatsoever. I'm very low maintenance, even though I don't look it some of the time. Um, but I mean, when it comes to me getting ready, my God, I don't really, it don't take me long. I do whatever it is that makes the process shorter. I don't like spending hours upon hours on my makeup. That's why you guys don't see me do a lot of eyeshadow looks and shit because a bitch don't have time nor do I have patience to sit there and be like, let me do the cut crease, bitch, with the black corners and the sparkles and the glitter on the right side, left side of my face. <laughs> if you see a bitch like me with eyeshadow on, she was bored as fuck, okay? Cause I don't like putting any extra nothing, okay? You might see a badass motherfucking lip on a bitch like that, okay? But uh, bruh, this is easy as fuck to put on. Ain't nobody got time to put no extra, I don't put no fuck, uh, -uh. Bitch, shit, no, okay? So, uh, all right, here we go. What's one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year? One thing that I'm so excited about because it's coming up very shortly is the fact that I'm heading to New York. You guys know, if you guys haven't seen my video, I will let you guys know again, I'm heading to New York. I'm going to IMAX in the next couple of weeks. So I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. I have not been to the East Coast in years, and I've not been to the East Coast since I've been really a YouTuber, you know? And um, I know a lot of you guys out there um, on the East Coast are heading out to IMAX, and even if you're not, 
not, okay? Hopefully I will run into you guys in there. I am not sure about a meet and greet, just FYI. I don't know where the fuck I would have one, and you guys know when people have meet and greets and shit and they don't really plan those things in advance, sometimes they can get shut down because they're not supposed to have people standing awkwardly in, a ran in random ass places, and I'm sure New York is no different. So um, anyway, I'll let you guys know. Just follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook if you guys want to see those updates as I quickly approach heading to New York because it's coming soon. Um, but yeah, that's probably the most um, exciting thing that's coming up that I'm really, really excited about because I'm heading out of town soon and I cannot wait to see a lot of you guys' faces. So, What is your most awkward filming moment? You know what? I'm not even going to, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I don't have awkward filming moments. Y'all know I don't have, not only not have no filter, but a bitch ain't got zero fucks, okay? Y'all know I vlog on a daily basis. And for those of us who are daily vloggers, if you guys know the struggle, it's rough. I mean, if you're not completely 100% comfortable with what you do on a continuous basis when you're vlogging or as you're vlogging, and if you're, I mean, if you're not completely okay with people just staring and gawking at your ass because you just happen to be, you know, vlogging, have a camera in the air, trying to shoot yourself and talking to yourself, looking like you FaceTiming with a camera, you know what I'm saying? It may not be the thing for you. Me, on the other hand, I give zero fucks. I could care less about what bitches think, what motherfuckers think. I could care less. It is what it is. And honestly, for me, there is really no awkward filming moments. You know what I mean? Uh, people stare all the time when I catch them. I always make fun of them in some way, shape, or form on my vlog, especially on my vlog channel. Y'all know I be making fun of motherfuckers that do that shit on my vlog channel because I vlog and the most random places, and you will see the funniest funniest pictures, of, I mean video of people and the looks they give you when your back is turning you don't see them especially if you don't have a uh, viewfinder on your camera which I don't have for my daily vlog camera so anyway there's no real awkward moments for me I just I flow it's I, I flow okay um yeah no awkward moments so far as far as filming are you wearing jeans or skirt slash dress or pajama bottoms okay look right now that's what they're referring to Y'all are lucky today of all days, okay? Because a bitch typically when she films her damn videos, you know, my face might be a little beat, you know what I'm saying? I might have my little makeup on, my lippy and my lips might be popping and shit. But a bitch on the bottom ain't looking like none of it, okay? So I got my little shirt on that I love, and you know, I'm chilling in my cut, you know? I ain't got no damn bra on, but we won't talk about that. Scene. But typically when I'm shooting these videos, the bitch just got draws on. And I do mean the draws, okay? Draws, bitch, okay? But today, because they're asking specifically about today, I happen to be wearing Juice's pajama bottoms. So I'm gonna show y'all. See? These are his Christmas pajama bottoms. <laughs> okay, we gonna... Uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. pajama bottom so y'all lucky because you know I'm bold enough that if I was really wearing drawers that I'd have gotten the fuck up and let y'all see them motherfuckers mm -hmm. lucky uh, what is the most proud moment of your life <sighs> Lord okay I'm gonna give you a random one ready this is random you guys are gonna be like what it's weird all right so here we go I have a lot of random ass phobias I hate heights Okay, I'm petrified of heights. There's just things that I am scared of, okay? Um, so one of the things that I've had a phobia of is childbirth, okay? And when my nephew was born, he's five now, but when he was born five years ago, um, I, my sister wanted me in the room with her. And I was petrified that I was gonna pass the fuck out because I have always been scared of physically seeing childbirth. And I know everyone's taking sex ed classes and shit, but when the videos came on and they showed that shit, my ass was like this. Like I just, I didn't really wanna see the shit. And so, <laughs> so I actually sat there and watched the entire thing. It was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever experienced in my entire life. Had no idea that it would affect me the way that it did. And I'm really proud of that, like, because, I mean, I'm a wuss when it comes to those types of things, like, gory, nasty stuff. I don't even watch horror films because of the, I don't like gore and shit, so, like, blood, and like, I just, I don't do well with that shit, so, um, I was really proud of myself, one, and two, it was just a beautiful, amazing experience. I was just proud that I didn't pass the fuck out, and that I was able to be there for my sister and not freak her the fuck out as she's trying to give birth to my favorite and only nephew, okay? So, that's one. Um, another couple things, like I said, I'm scared of heights. I've been parasailing, I've been ziplining, despite my absolute fear of heights, okay? 
So yeah, you might hear this phone vibrating in the background, so disregard for a minute. Anyway, um, you know another thing that I'm really proud of? <clears throat> And these, there's a bunch of random stuff and I'll probably have to do like a segment where I give you guys a story of the day or like story time with Sandy or something like that. If you guys want to see that, thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if that's something you want to see in the future. Um, but I think for me, one of my most, I guess, one of the proudest moments, there's a whole bunch um, of random little moments that I've just been really happy and, and proud of myself. But I think honestly for me was um, after I got laid off at the station a few years ago, as you guys may or may not know, for those of you guys that are newer, I was actually a, a reporter on TV for a while. And um, anyway, I got laid off. And uh, after that happened, I really wasn't sure what, exactly what the fuck I was going to do. It was one of those things where you're just like, holy shit, it's a small market. It's, you know, it's a small arena. It's not something where there's a plethora of jobs and opportunities that are available out there in that arena, especially because I live in St. Louis. I don't live in Cali or New York in those bigger markets where there's more opportunities. Um, but the one thing I'm proud of myself about is the fact that I stayed true to myself, even throughout the process of having worked there because it was so such a conservative um, arena. And even during the interview process before that, when I was interviewing for the job, I kept it real with them and let them know who the fuck I was. I let them know the kind of person that I was, the personality that I have, and the fact that, you know, I, I, I don't conform very well to things. <laughs> I don't, I just don't. I've never been a conservative person, never have been and never have been and never will be. And I let them know up front exactly what I was doing, this is about my YouTube channel, all of those things. And you know, I stayed true to self regardless of whatever the fuck obstacles came my way. And then even thereafter, after having been laid off, which was not, I mean obviously that had nothing to do with me being laid off. I got laid off because of management changes and several people besides myself got laid off. But because I was on air, I was the most publicly laid off because I was physically on air so people didn't see me but there were a lot of people behind the scenes a few people that were laid off behind the scenes as well but um even after that being able to kind of bounce back and just figure shit out and try to make the best of a situation that could that was just like what the fuck you know and I know a lot of you guys have dealt with that you got a lot of you guys have emailed me and, and hit me up about situations similar to mine that you've gotten laid off from jobs and didn't know where to go and what to do what your next move was going to be so um it's a plethora of different things, but being in that market, I learned so damn much, or in that media, and that in that in that arena, was a very eye-opening experience. It kind of um, you get to see a lot of shit that you really don't want to see. Um, but the biggest thing for me, I think, throughout the entire fucking process, from the beginning, from the root to the tuta, I stayed true to my motherfucking self. I didn't let nobody change my shit. I didn't let nobody, you know. Um, you know, hold me back or put me in a box. I refused, and I continue to refuse to this day. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, long story short. Anyway, if you want me to do story time with Sandy, there's so many things I could talk to y'all about, but let me know. Comment down below. Let me know if there's any particular topics you guys want me to talk about. As far as story time with Sandy, I would love to do it. Y'all know I love talking to y'all, and I don't do a lot of talking videos like this, so this video might be like 45, 50 minutes. Lord knows. Okay, anyway, let me let me focus because this is about to die. What makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you? Lord, that's a good question. You know what? I don't know. Here's the deal. And a lot of you guys have followed me and have followed me for a while know this story, but for those of you guys that are newer that don't, before I even started doing YouTube, I'd always been the company photographer with my friends and my family. I always had a camera in my hand. I always was the one taking pictures of the family and friends and little moments that we had in our lives and moments that, you know, embarrassing moments and funny moments and whatever the case may be. And I would put the videos together and edit them in like whatever the cheap software was. I think it was Windows Movie Maker at the time. And then I would shoot them out to, in emails to my friends and my family. And it got to the point where they were looking forward to them so much that I finally said, you know what, you know, after a while, and this is to make the story shorter. But um, I just started saying, well, let me, you know, put some of these things on video. And then in addition to that, talk about the things that I love talking about, because I love debate. I love like conversations about just different things that are controversial. I don't have a filter. Y'all know that shit. Um, yeah. So, um, so anyway, I've always just been comfortable in front of the camera, you know what I mean? Um, so like shooting video and that kind of thing. And then also when I turn this camera on and I press record, I'm talking to y'all. Like y'all can tell, I hope you can tell by when I'm looking at you and I'm, ta I'm talking to you. I'm not talking at the camera. I'm not, you know, I'm not paying attention to these big ass, hot ass fucking lights in front of me. I'm still trying to get used to them motherfuckers, by the way, because y'all know I'm, I like staying true and organic to whatever the fuck, um, you know, initially or whatever. Um, where I was sitting on the floor in front of my closet. I loved and enjoyed that too as well. Um, 
but I've just always been comfortable in front of a camera, you know what I mean? So um, YouTube was just kind of the natural next thing. I didn't know you could make a living doing it. I didn't know any of that shit when I started. I, I mean, it was a while before I even knew any of that shit going into YouTube. I just did it to have a centralized location for my videos and photos and things like that to be placed. And, um, you know, I was still in corporate America too. I was still working in a corporate job. So I had to be careful with some of the shit that I said on YouTube. And just as I got older and as I, you know, kind of just, ugh, I just let that shit go because I was like I, I this is not me you know what I mean um anyway but just I guess I've just I've just never been uncomfortable um because I feel like when I'm talking into right here into this lens I'm talking to y'all for real for real like y'all my fam bam does that make sense anyway that's why I guess I guess I'm just I don't know I've always done this so maybe that's why worst hair and makeup habit hold on let me see if I have enough room on this camera hold up worst makeup hair habit um I don't have a lot of time on this camera by the way I've been talking to y'all's asses off um <sighs> I'm one of the motherfuckers that by the time it gets down to me having to wash my makeup brushes, I have a million and one makeup brushes to wash because I will just keep using new ones as opposed to cleaning the old ones. So as opposed to using old dirty brushes, I would just put the dirty brushes aside and I'll continue to use new clean ones until they completely run out. And then by the time I get to having to clean my brushes, I have 150 damn brushes I gotta clean, which I hate, because I hate cleaning brushes. So then I'm finally like, okay, shit, I gotta do this shit because I don't wanna break out. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is not that bad of a makeup habit. Uh, bitch, uh, let's see. God, I don't know. Um, hair habit, sometimes I'll take this wig off and just, you know, any wig that I'm rocking, I'll just, like, I'll lay it down, never so, but I put it in the most random places, but it's always protected. Like, I'm really anal about that shit, because especially this wig, bitch. I love this wig. Okay. Um, but, um, laying my wigs in random ass places, they're always protected, but they random, like, random juicy, be like, bitch, what the fuck is that hair doing over there? Like, that type of shit. Like, it's never in the kitchen, but it's random places. Um, damn. I don't know what other makeup habits I have. I'm looking around my beauty room like, bitch. Um, a bad makeup habit would probably be my makeup is strewn everywhere. And I mean, y'all, I should I show y'all this? Look, I'm about to show y'all what's over here for real, for real, for real. See this? Disregard. I did a love with food unboxing, right? Then I got makeup that I'm gonna be trying out, right? Then I got, <laughs> I mean, and that is nothing compared to my norm. Like, cause I have another vanity in my bedroom. That's what I, where I typically do my makeup. And this is more like the office space. But technically, look, I, I'm not even gonna show, yeah, look, I'm not even gonna show y'all. You know what, let me show y'all real quick before. See all this shit over here? There's, you can't see it, but there's makeup all up and through over there, y'all. No lie, no joke. That's the one thing I'm bad about. I will throw makeup wherever the fuck in my area where I do my makeup, but I never put it like back where it's supposed to be until it gets to the point where I'm like, okay, I can't take it no more, I, or I can't find my lippy or my liner or whatever, and then I'll put the shit away. So yeah, I'm one of them. But anyway, <laughs> um, shit. That's I guess that's the last question. Let me see. Uh, worst makeup hair. Have it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, I only have like four minutes on this camera. I'm at 2.39, so I don't want it to cut off on me. But anyway, I know this video is probably going to be hella long. I can tell by the way that I'm talking. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these types of videos. If there's any other tags you guys want me to do, let me know. Comment those down below. Also, if there's any questions you guys want me to answer in a my question answer video that will be coming out soon after this, please put those questions down below. I will look to this video and check them out as well and answer them to the best of my abilities. Of course, make sure to be creative. Don't ask ask me some some of the same shit because y'all have followed me for a while and probably already know the answers to a lot of those daggone questions. So if there's any other questions you guys want me to check out, um, yeah, comment down below. Uh, and if there's any topics that you want me to do in story time with Sandy videos, if that's what you guys want me to do, if you guys want me to do story like that um, in random videos I would love to do it because I love these little talk videos with y'all yeah thumbs up this video if you love seeing this videos from your girl and you already know what to do as always follow me on Twitter twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy of course hit me up on my Facebook fan page and my Pinterest page those links are down below hit me up on my blog the socialitelife.blogspot.com and hit me up on Instagram at socialize Sandy and you already know I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video love y'all bye